Welcome to the Eaton Family Thunderdrome. It's a new season. It's Supercars Meet One, Season 8. Race 1, Lane 1. We have the rookie, the Lotus Elise. Two-time Exotics Champion. And looking forward to see how he does in the big leagues. Lane 2, we have the absolute legend with 20 career wins. This is a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Finished equal third last season. He was in the running. Let's see if he can do a couple better this time round. Lane 3, we have the Conesec Gamera. He finished 14th last season. Has three career wins. Lane 4, we have the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. Veteran of the league, 16 career wins. He finished a credible 10th. And lane 5, we have another rookie. We have the Toyota GT86. He has won races across Japanese Manufacturers Classic, Premium, Showdown, and Exotics. Favorite for this race would have to be the Sesto in lane 2. Let's see who can start the year off with a bang. Who gets first blood? Good race all evening. The GT86 is dropping back in five. Two yellow cars on the outside have hit the lead. They're head to head. The Lotus and the Sesto. It's going to be a photo finish. It's the Lotus. The Lotus upsets the Sesto. What a great win. First win of the year goes to the Lotus Elise, the rookie. A little bit of an upset there, taking out the Sesto Helimento. That's why I love the start of a new season, to see where these new cars from the lower leagues, where they stand against the veterans and the champions. It's very, very interesting, which leads us to race two, lane one. We have a former grand champion in the Aston Martin 177. He finished 16th. He should have been relegated, but he had a single, a lone race win, which saved him. He could very well have been out. He'll want to take that chance and run with it this year. Lane two, we have the rookie, the Lamborghini Huracan. He's won a couple of races in exotics, and we know he's pretty quick. Lane three, we have the veteran with 11 race wins. He finished ninth last season. It's the Dodge Charger Drift. Lane four, favorite for this race, the defending grand champion. He is a two-time grand champion, 31 career wins. And lane five, we have a rookie. We have the Honda S2000. Oh, he's pretty good. And he's going to be up against it because he's up against the best here. The rookies are up against the best. How will they fare? It's 55 career wins between these five cars as opposed to 39 in the first race. Well, who's going to take the second spot in the championship race? All eyes are on the Aston Martin Vantage. Good stuff here, 2000 with a vengeance passing now, as is the drift. 177 coming up fast on the outside. Aston Martin Vantage, defending grand champion, takes the line first. Drift comes in second. After two races, we have the old and the new. The rookie will be up against the defending grand champion. Race three, lane one. We have the Jaguar XESV Project 8. He came equal third last season. 18 career wins. He's looking, he's eyeing off that legendary status. I reckon he'll get it this season. Lane two, we have a former two-time grand champion. Legend of the sport, 29 career wins. But disappointingly, finished 13th last season. We have the... 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Legend 
Lane three, a rookie. He's a convertibles and an exotics champion. It's the 2019 Audi R8 Spider. He is exceptional. That is a beautiful paint job, the silver fleck in there. He is very quick and I'm interested to see how he'll go up against the Jaguar. Lane four, we have the Lamborghini Gallardo. Seven career wins, finished 12th last season. He's one of those hit and miss cars. You don't expect him to win and all of a sudden he'll have a, a run of wins and then go back into obscurity. Lane five, another rookie. This is a magnificent looking car. Beautiful color, beautiful style. The McLaren Senna. He is quick, but yet to win a championship in, in any form. Favorite for this race would be the Jaguar in lane one. But as we know, with the rookies, anything can happen. And Toby's joined us. Hello. Hello. Going for lane two. Going for lane two. Oh, he loves the Shelby. Can the Shelby make a comeback? It'll be well overdue. Then I'll lead onto the flat. Fire bumper, they're all catching him now. Jaguar and Audi are screamed ahead. It's going to be close between them two, but it's the Jaguar on the outside pipping the rookie Audi for the win. The Jaguar joins the championship race. And if anyone's noticed, we have three British cars in there. Lotus, Aston Martin, and Jaguar. Where are the American cars? Where are the Italian cars? What's happening? Race four, lane one. We have a Dodge Viper SRT. He successfully crossed over from Street Race Outlaws into supercars, and he did it quite credibly with an 11th finish. Very good effort. He is a fine looking car. I love the Viper. Lane two with the 2020 Corvette. Finished equal 14th, has nine career wins. Very disappointing season. Let's see if he can turn it around. Lane three, the rookie, the 2017 Acura NSX. He should have been relegated. He finished 17th last season, but had one very Fortunate victory, race win, and he gets another another shot. Let's see if he can make the most of it. Lane four, do you remember this guy? He's back. It's the McLaren F1 GTR. Eight career wins. He was in the top of his game, then he just bombed out. But he had a resurgent career in the minors. In exotics, he looked very good and he worked his way back. Let's see if it was all worth it. But he's up against, in lane five, former two-time grand champion, legend of the league, 20 career wins, finished second last season, and is the favorite for this race. 44 career wins between these five cars. It was 54 the previous. We're sitting around 40s, 50s. We've got a pretty good experience level this season thus far. And for Toby's expert opinion, who's winning? Four. Yeah, Lane four. four. He's, back. He's back. Let's see if it's all worth it. Great start from McLaren in four. Corvette and two has caught him. Fernando slipped into third. Viper is ahead of the Corvette. Well, check this with the photo finish. The Veneno finished strongly on the inside as well. The Viper wins. Wow. All I can say is, wow. The Viper on a photo finish beat out the Veneno by a millisecond. And the poor old... Corvette fans, his number came up, lane two. He was nowhere near winning that. 
But it was it was close. It was a good race, very good race. And race five is a very good race. The best of the day, seventy one career wins between these five cars. In lane one, we have the Dodge Viper convertible. In his second season, his rookie season, he finished six with four career wins. Oh, I'm excited to see how he'll go in his second year. Lane two, we have a legend. 25 career wins, finishing seventh last season, is the Lamborghini Veneno. Lane three, lucky to be here. And as a few cars are lucky to be here. They jagged a win. He finished 19th, the Project 7 F-Type. He shouldn't be here, but well, let's see if he can make the most of it. Lane four, we have the Lotus Esprit. Seven career wins, finished eighth. And in lane five, race favorite, another legend of the league. 34 career wins, finished fifth last season. Is a Lamborghini Aventador J. Well, who's gonna take that last spot in a championship race? Lotus and Aventador are head to head on the inside. Viper's past the Veneno on the in outside, and he has won the race. Wow. That was a good win to the Viper Convertible. Welcome to the championship race. The first meet season eight of supercars. It's a exciting start to the season. We've got some unexpected cars here. In lane one, the rookie, Lotus Elise. His first championship race, how will he do? He's up against the best. In lane two, defending grand champion, two-time grand champion, Aston Martin Vantage. The Vantage has 12 championships to his name. Can he make this number 13? He'll make it lucky. Lane three, we have the Jaguar XCSV Project 8. Just the one championship. Can he double it? Lane four, yeah, a very a good surprise. Yeah, we, we got a Viper in here, the Viper. Yes. And in lane five, we have another Viper. He's already won a championship. Can he win a second? Yeah. Three British cars and then two Americans decided to drop in and even it up a bit. The race favorite for this is the Vantage. But you never know until you give it a go. Let's see who will take the first championship meet of the season. Cool race is five across. Lotus and Vantage are taking off. Lotus has the lead and will win his first race, his first attempt, defeating the defending grand champion. What a win.